hello everyone in this video i will uh, be making a hand sanitizing gel okay who standard okay as you all know this is the season of covid 19 and the best way to protect ourselves is to make hand sanitizer if you've been to the mall you'll notice that it's so so uh, scarce right now everything is off the shelf um so i just put this together to help a uh, fellow form formulator and all the people that may you know benefit from it you can look in the description box below for the spray version of this uh this recipe i just made uh, the spray version on my on skincare queen my second youtube channel you can look there for the detail instruction i used to create the spray version but for horse on this channel i want to make the gel version i will be using hydro ethyl cellulose okay hydro ethyl cellulose x is um, a, a polymer derived from wood okay so it's a bit it's natural and also i will our hard preservative to this i will be using geocard ect so i want to make this as natural as possible and also how use isopropyl alcohol 99.9 percent .9 so for effectiveness i think for this i don't really need water but i don't really need a, a preservative but because i'm adding a bit of water i will have to hard preserve it so i've already pre-dispersed uh, the gum hydroethyl cellulose take time for it to swell so i disperse this in water few moments ago but usually you should disperse this in water at least for 30 to 60 minutes for effectiveness so as not to have separation uh, it's very soluble in water so i'll first do that in the water uh, part so for this i have uh, you look in the description box below for the link to the ball so i'll just show it to you i have uh, 120 ml of isopropyl alcohol and don't worry about the spray i'm doing the gel version right now so um this is the recipe i use i'm not following the percentage formula just because it's the who standard so i just want to go with that so this is the other word i'll be using 30 ml of distilled water so let me take uh, my distilled water first look in the description box below for link to full full recipe so the first thing we'll do is we're going to get a 30 ml of water Then we'll add a bit of the predispersed gum to it. This is not xanthan gum. This is uh, hydroethyl cellulose. It dissolves easily in water. it's uh, used to create crystal clear serum as you all know uh, xanthan gum does not create crystal clear serum but this will create crystal crystal clear serum much much better than xanthan gum it's gelling up right now so i might have to put this in my homogenizer or i might use uh, my machine blender Okay, so I might have to use my machine blender for this. I'm not sure how alcohol is going to react to it. I've never used this. I must confess that I've never used this with alcohol before. So let's see how it turns out. I I chose this over Santam gum because it's going to give me a crystal a crystal clear, you know. It's going to give me a crystal clear sanit and sanitizing gel. Blend it with my mushroom blender. So once I have this one, uh, please uh, bear with me for my daughter. I'm so sorry. She just came from nowhere. I uh, wanted my attention, but I'll go shortly. So this is it. I use my mushroom blender to give it a more a smoother consistency 
for the next thing we want to add is to add add the hydrogen peroxide 7.5 hydrogen peroxide I am afraid that this might separate with the introduction of this when I had the isopropyl alcohol 99.9% but let's see how it turns out that's why we formulate or we try things right so 2.5 ml of glycerin Two point five ml of glycerin. Then I will mix it. I'm not sure how this will. I'm not sure how this will hold up when I eventually had my. 120 ml of isopropyl alcohol so and this is it right here let's see how it holds up Using my Martian blender, I blended it together. Let's see how it holds up. I hope it won't separate. So good, it didn't separate, as you can see. It didn't separate. I expect it to separate. Now, what I'm left it to hot now is my preservative. Interesting, it didn't separate. And see how clear it is. If you, if I use um, if I'd use xanthan gum, it wouldn't be this way. As you can see, see how how clear it is. So our guess is good, and it works out very very well. Interesting interesting stuff. Now. Because I use yogurt CT, I will have to check the pH. I want to make sure, okay, that the pH is uh, within the acceptable range of this preservative. So I'll check the pH now. interesting interesting it came out perfectly perfectly And the pH is 3.3. We will have to bump up the pH. Okay. To be safe, I want to bump up the pH to 5 to 5.5. So I'm going to increase the pH. Okay. With uh, sodium hydroxide solution. I've made that solution in this uh, channel. But I will li leave a link in the description box below also. So it's 3.3. Okay. The pH 3.3 will have to adjust it. To make sure it's uh, it conforms to that of the skin, I will be adding few drops of light solution.
The next thing to do now is uh, I'm checking the pH of this uh, hand sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you want to So the pH right now is 5.2, so we're good to go. The pH is 5.2, it's good to go. It took me quite a while to get the pH to this level. I actually I'm actually looking for 5.5 pH. But any time from anywhere between 4.8 to where I am now, 5.3, it's perfect. So it's 5.3. So if you want to make your own, make sure you adjust the pH to 5.3. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. I will apply it right on camera now to see exactly how it works. It's very refreshing and it's as you can see on my skin see how it moisturizes my skin also so it's good to go thank you so much for watching remember click the subscribe button the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos